we've seen a lot of research on market efficiency, and it does seem that markets are acting in a reasonably efficient fashion. And that means that the more of these assets that you combine together, the more efficient that portfolio becomes. That means that essentially the most efficient portfolio is the most diversified portfolio. But that means that investing is pretty boring. Yes, but that's not my problem. <laughs> that's, uh, I mean, I see a, quite a bit of this. I'm involved in some nonprofit uh, investment committees, let's say, you know, and some of whom have consultants and, or investment managers. And it just seems way too simple to just say, how much should we put in tips and how much should we put in a world bond stock portfolio? Uh, it, it just can't be that simple when, when, you know, from the client's viewpoint, and oh, no, that's, that's too simple. From the advisor's viewpoint, that's so simple, who would pay me for it, <laughs> you know? So I think there, there are a lot of incentives to do something that's, that's more interesting and hopefully more fruitful and more profitable, you know, like decide how much to put in growth stocks versus value or large versus small, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You, you know the, the many manifestations. It's just too simple to say, why don't you buy this really highly diversified portfolio and then mix it with something close to or actually riskless to taste, depending on how much risk you want to bear. That's a lot easier. And I would argue it could in many instances be as good, if not better, than some of the other solutions. But it's really boring.